Visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. Well, at least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Uh, don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva. Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seat. Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. 
That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <sighs> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. It was just a dream. Yeah? Uh, must have been a doozy. Sleep is a waste of time anyway. Yeah, and I'm afraid the world of the waking isn't much better than whatever dream you were having. Yeah, maybe. What do you mean? Forget it, nothing. Did you have a reason for waking me up? Yeah, actually. Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office ASAP. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. Five. Damn thing's doing it again. Carter, you hearing this? You were there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just... His file paints a different picture. Speak of the devil. Carter, good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. Why me? I've been behind a desk since... Well, for a while. Yeah, but you were a hell of an agent before you sat behind that desk. And what's more, I know what put you behind that desk. The brass put me there. Sure, the brass made the call. But it was you who kept yourself there. I don't need another round of psychobabble. I had enough of that from the company shrinks after the incident. It was an accident, Carter. Beyond your control. Right, right, yeah. And next you tell me how I can't save everyone. It's too late for that. But you can save some of them. And right now, that might be enough. Right. Well, I'm with you, Falk. If only because, for all we know, this clown show you're running here is all that's left of our nation's defenses. Then that makes you... One of the nation's best weapons. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No. The circle was kept quite small on this. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving.
Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the Eight. radio operators. Nine. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. And if we can't keep the enemy contained? In that case, civilian unrest is the least of our problems, isn't it? Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? Yes. Most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. The best of the best, you know. What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. Thanks for the information. Just doing my job. Welcome aboard, sir. What do they look like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know, some kind of monsters or something. You lost pal. Well, ready room's down. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. I'll tell him right away. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research and high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help. Quick and quiet. Come on, Will. Pick a team. No more flying solo. Yes, sir? Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. First set the range to... Set the range to 100. Now the direction? Set the direction east. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra-high frequency. I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir.
chased the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Get through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it, Nils. Hold on. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. You think this plasma... Nils. Do not grieve. He died well. Why? Why kill Nils? Why attack our world? You do not understand. This world is no longer yours. But you will learn. Mosaic will teach you. What the hell is Mosaic? Mosaic is the truth that humanity shall come to know. It is unfortunate that you will not be here to witness it. Yeah, well, I know one truth that you don't. And what is that? You're surrounded. Far, fellas. He's worth more to us alive. Let's get him into custody. I got the infiltrator, Falk. Alive. Good work. You and Agent Nils report to. Nils is dead. I told him to wait for backup, but he went in without me. Understood. Meet me and Ops. We've got work to do. Get him, Carter? Yeah. I got him. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Nils. He's gone. Damn it. I should have been there. All right. Good luck, Agent DeSilp. I don't need luck.
the circuit blown! There you are, Agent Carter. Just a moment, please. If you will spare a moment, I am Dr. Heinrich Dresner, and I have been expecting you. That's nice, Doc, but I got a report to... I assure you, Herr Falk will be glad that we spoke. After all, we shall need new weapons to fight this for, and my laboratory shall be where they are created. Any weapons you retrieve from the field, we will be glad to study and convert for your use. You know much about these outsiders and their technology? I have been working with Herr Folk for nearly as long as he has suspected their existence. And since the attack, I have had so much more material to study. Try not to sound so cheerful, Doc. We lost a lot of good men that day, and we just lost another. I am sorry, William, but I hope to prevent more losses just as you do. In fact, I came here to give you this. Our first discovery. Sure, but what is it? The Venbrace was designed for close-range attacks to augment your fisticuffs. Against a wounded target, its effects can be devastating. But more importantly, it can be modified to allow the capture and use of the outsider weaponry. This could have come in useful a few minutes ago. Ah, but you cannot simply take their weapons. First, you must find one that has not yet been imprinted to the enemies. Every minute we waste could mean another life. My apologies, William. Just take the brace, and I will let you know when it can help us. Thanks, Doc. And maybe our new research subject can help with your next breakthrough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go speak with the director. Thank you, William. Come back anytime. Agent Carter, your report. The bastard got Nils. This cannot happen again, Falk. Killing Nils? Christ, we're lucky that's all he managed to do. Agent Nils' loss will be felt throughout the organization. But right now, we have bigger problems. His... loss? God damn it, we need to stop these bastards. And we need to do it now. Do you understand that? Calm yourself, Agent. We all agree they have to be stopped. I believe that our best hope for doing so is to recover Dr. Alan Weir from Rosemont University. No, what we need to do is put a stop to the enemy. Agreed. And we can do both. There's been another attack. The target is Rosemont University. A civilian target? Why? Because Dr. Weir's research can tell us what the enemy wants, how they think, and how to stop them. We need him on the team if we want to survive. And you know better than anyone that surviving is the first step to striking back. All right. Let's go get him. Good man. When you're ready, bring up the tactical map on that terminal and your team will be dispatched. Make sure you've got everything in order around the base. Team selected, weapons set, no outstanding business. You never know how long you'll be out on a mission.